on this part, we are going to design the create a new actor view. So basically, when you go in here to the add new button, you are redirected to this page, so slash actors, then slash create. And here you need to provide the profile picture URL, the full name, the biography, and then you have in here two buttons, the show all to just go back to the actors and create to add an actor to the database. Let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to create a new action result. So let's just go to the Solution Explorer. Then in here, go to the Actors Controller. Then scroll down in here. And then I'm going to type public async task. And then here we are going to have the I action result. And then in here, I'm going to name create. And then inside this method, we are just going to return the view because initially we want to just return the empty view. And then when the user provides some data, we want to send another request to the same controller. But this time we need to also have the data. So this is basically just a simple get request. And the URL for this get request is going to be actors, then slash create. Since we do not have any data manipulation in this case, if you want, we can just remove the task and also remove the async and have a simple I action result. Now here, since we created a new method or a new action result, let us just go to the solution explorer and then here go to the views folder. Then in the views folder, go to the actors folder and inside here, we're going to add another view. So add a view. This is going to be a razor view, but an empty one and then click the add button. The name of this view is going to be create because that is the method name. So create.c-sharp-html and then click the add button one more time. Now inside here, we are going to use Bootstrap to design this view. So for that, we are going to first set the model at the top and the model is going to be an actor, so model and then actor. Now here, let us also define the view data and we are going to define a view data for the title value. So view data title is equal to create a new actor or maybe just add a new actor and then down here we are going to write the html code so let us start with the div i'm going to have a div and then inside the div i'll have the class row and a text and down here we are going to have the upper section but we are going to place the whole form in the middle and have some space on the left and on the right so this is going to be a div with a class called dash md dash eight and we are going to set the offset to be two then inside here we're going to have a paragraph and then we have an h4 tag the h4 tag is going to be add a new actor so so far we have built just the upper section now let us go back to visual studio and build the actual form and here just after the paragraph we are going to have another div with a class row and then inside here, we're going to center the form even more. So I'll just copy line eight, paste it in here and add a closing tag. Then inside here, we are going to create the form. So form. the form is going to have an action and that action is going to be an ASP action instead. So ASP dash action. So whenever we click the submit button, we want to send the request to the create method but we are going to create another create method that is used to handle the post request and then here i'll just add the div for the validation summary and i'm going to explain later what the validation summary is all about and i'll just type in here mode only and the text is going to be text dash danger now let us start creating the actual input value. So I'm going to create the first form group. So class then form dash group. 
then inside the form group we are going to have a label the label is going to be for the profile picture url so asp-4 and this is going to be profile picture url and then we're going to add a class in here the control dash label then next we are going to have an input and the input will be for the profile picture url so asp4 and profile picture url this is going to have the class form control so form dash control and the last one is going to be the span so we're going to create in here a span in case the validation is wrong we want to display an error message just below the input so in here we're going to have a span the span is going to be the asp validation for and this is going to be a validation for the profile picture url and the class is going to be text danger so this way we display a red text so this is for the first field now let us copy this form group paste it in here let's paste it in here as well now the second one is going to be for the full name so here full name and then in here full name the last one is going to be for the biography so bio then here bio and in here bio as well so these are the input fields at the end let us also add another form group for the submit button and here i'm going to create a div and this div is going to have the class form dash group and then inside this div we are going to have let's say an input of type submit so type submit then we are going to have the value create the class is going to be the btn then btn dash outline dash success and let us set the float right as well so this will push this button to the right of our form and the other one is going to be just a simple button so an a tag and then in here i'm going to have a class btn then btn dash outline and then secondary this is going to call an action so asp action is equal to index now the reason why we are defining just the action is because this create form belongs to the actors folder so when you just define the index action then by default the asp controller is going to be the actors but if you want this link to call another action result then in that case you need to define the controller as well by using the asp controller the name is going to be show all don't forget to add the semicolon at the end then save the changes and run the application so we see that the app ran successfully now let us just go in here to actors then create so actors then create and then press enter we can see that we have the form so we have in here the profile picture we have the full name and biography so we have the create button and also the show all if you click the show all you'll just go back to the actors and here you can see all the actors now let us just go back to the actors create now to get an example profile picture for the actors you can just go in here to the dotnet how dotnet then in here slash the images then slash actors then slash actor dash one let's say dot jpeg so here you have an example then you can just go in here to actor then two you have another example you can go up to five so let me just copy this value go back to the app and when you paste it in here nothing happens because we have not added like a profile picture preview so let us go back to visual studio and add a profile picture preview placeholder just below the profile picture and also when you go to the actors view in here we are going to have the new button so let us go back to visual studio and write some more code 
So in here, let us stop this project. And then in here, just before the profile picture URL, we are going to add a div, which we are going to use as a profile picture preview placeholder. So I'll just type in here div, and then the class for the div is going to be form-group. And then the other one, text-center, because we want to have the profile picture centered. Then inside here, I'm going to create an image tag. And this image tag is going to have an ID, and that is going to be profile picture URL, and then preview, or just maybe profile picture. So profile picture preview. Now let us scroll down in here. And then down here, we are going to write some JavaScript code. So some jQuery code. For that, we need to create a section. This section will be named scripts. And then down here, we're going to create a script tag. Now here, let us write some jQuery code. So whenever the profile picture URL field is updated, so whenever you paste, for example, a new URL, whenever you update the existing URL, so on change, we are going to listen for the change event. We are going to call a function. And what this function will do is it will just get the profile picture preview and then set the value to the profile picture preview placeholder. So in here I'll just type var output is equal to this is going to be document dot get element by ID and here now we are going to use the profile picture preview because we now want to get the placeholder and then we are going to set the source to the profile picture preview. So for that output dot source and the source of the output is going to be this dot value. So basically the profile picture URL dot value. So dollar sign this and then dot val and this stands for value. So let us save the changes and now let us go to the index view solution explorer. Then go to the index dot C sharp HTML then scroll down in here. And in here now we are going to add the new button. So we're going to just create a div. And to this div, I'll just add a class. I'm going to name this class text white because we want to have the white text for the green button. And then here I'm going to add an A tag. The A tag will have the ASP dash controller set to, in this case, it is going to be the actors controller. Then we are going to have the action set to the create action. So ASP action set to create. And then I'm going to add to this button, the BTN, then BTN dash success. We're going to also add an icon. The icon is going to be a plus inside a circle. So for that, I'll use in here the I tag, I, and then class BI, then BI dash plus dash circle. And the text is going to be add new. Now let us save all the changes and then start the app. So we see that the app ran successfully. Let us click on the management and then go to actors. Now here if you scroll down, you're going to see that you have the button, but it's on the left. Now for this button to be placed in the bottom right, let us just add some inline styles. So style, the position is going to be fixed. So fixed. The right is going to be 25 pixels. And the bottom is going to be 25 pixels as well. Let us save the changes and run the app to see if everything works as expected. Let us go to management. Then you go to actors. So now you can see that we have the list of actors, but we also have the add new button positioned at the bottom right. Now let us click this button. We see that now we are redirected to the actors then slash create. And in the profile picture, I'm just going to paste a profile picture URL and then just click away. And we can see that the profile picture is rendered.
And next you need to provide the full name, the biography, and then click the create button, but we are going to implement this functionality in the next part.